very concerned. I, I was in that room. I saw my Republican colleagues who uh, refused to put on a mask. Uh, for whatever reason, they chose not to put on a mask. They put the rest of us in danger. Less than 24 hours after Representative Schneider said on MSNBC, he became the third lawmaker to test positive for COVID after Wednesday's insurrection. He, along with Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal and Bonnie Watson Coleman, who also tested positive, have all mentioned that some of the lawmakers they were sheltering with at the Capitol refused to put on masks. It would infuriate me. In an op-ed published just a few hours ago, Congresswoman Coleman writes, I am angry that the attack on the Capitol and my subsequent illness have the same cause. My Republican colleagues' inability to accept facts. And joining me now is Democratic Congresswoman Bonnie Watson Coleman. Thank you so much for being here. My first question, how are you feeling? Are you scared? Are you angry? What, what are you feeling right now? Physically from the uh, COVID, I'm feeling like I have a cold. Nothing, anything, nothing any more serious than that. Um, feelings otherwise, I'm still very angry. I'm angry at what happened. I'm angry at the way my colleagues uh, didn't give a hoot about uh, our safety and security and how they acted with such arrogance and stupidity by not putting their masks on. So I'm angry that I spent 10 months working from my home, voting, voting by proxy. Uh, doing my committee meetings virtually, doing my caucus meetings, uh, Zooming. I Zoomed so much that there were days, Zelina, where I was like Zoomed out, but I did it because I was doing my job. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to stay safe because I'm a survivor of cancer, among other things. And I go down there and within one week, I come back and I have a, a, a positive COVID um, diagnosis. So I'm very angry about that because that could have been avoided. Yeah. Yeah, I would have been, I would be furious if I had spent all year taking all the precautions, following all the guidance, trying to keep myself and my family members safe, and then somebody else's choices, intentional choices to disregard that guidance got me sick. I would be fuming. Um your colleague Congressman uh Raskin has included a rule in the 25th Amendment resolution being voted on tonight fining people who do not follow Speaker Pelosi's mask requirement on the House floor. Do you think this will pass? And if, if it does, will that sit well with the Republicans? It seems to me finding them is just the beginning. There needs to be full accountability for their, their inability to follow the rules. Yep, finding them is just the beginning. Yes, I think that uh, this resolution, this motion uh, will pass the House. I mean, after all, we are, we are in the majority. Uh, do I think that is enough? No. I think that there is, in some regards, a coordination or, or a connection between what we experience with the whole mask not wearing uh, issue, what we experience with my members uh, encouraging people not to embrace the fact that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris won the election, and what we faced on uh, the 6th of, of, of January with the insurrection, the attempted coup that failed. And so I think it's all wrapped up together. I think that uh, f finding them uh, and not allowing them to take it out of either their, their office budget or their campaign funds, but out of their own pockets, that's one thing. I think that they should be fined if they're without a mask on the entire Capitol campus. And that means up and down the hallways of the Cannon Building and Longworth and Rayburn. And I think that forcing this or mandating these masks and and having this accountability uh, might also protect some of even their staffers who would prefer to be masked, but recognize that their, me their member doesn't support it. And so they fear for their job. Well, we've gotten to the point now where we know what the science is. We know what their arrogance has, has caused us. And we know what their stupidity has caused us. And we know what this administration has caused us. So we need to get up and we need to be holding people accountable. Absolutely. I mean, it seems to me that they should have got the message by now. They had an incoming newly elected Republican congressman from Pennsylvania who died of COVID-19, what, last week, the week before? It was just, it just happened. So it seems to me this is all fresh in their minds. It should be anyway. Um, one of your colleagues in the House, Representative 
Mike Kelly, um, did not put on a mask on Wednesday. And his spokesperson said that he had COVID in March. And so he has antibodies. Uh, so his risk to others is minimal. We asked uh, a doctor about that uh, earlier. And her response was, no, sir, put on the mask. What's your response to Congressman Kelly? Put the damn mask on. For all of them, put the mask on. You have you, your right to not infringe upon our safety and security. And what they've done is they have totally disregarded whether or not I am going to be healthy or unhealthy because of what they did. Now, I put the mask on might be an inconvenience, but you can breathe through it. Doctors have breathed through it for years. Nurses have breathed through it. And other frontline workers have breathed through it. Um, Does it mess up your makeup? Don't put any makeup on. You don't need it on. You can't face, can't be seen anyway, you know. And what's more important, you're laying in a casket. Or you're having smudged lipstick. So put the mask on and recognize that it's not just about you're protecting yourself. It's about protecting your colleagues and the folks that you that you come in contact with. Absolutely. It's about thinking that you are not the only person who matters in the universe, like my mama taught me. Um, I want to turn now to impeachment. Um, and to the serious conversation we're having about the developing story in the House, because now we're up to three Republicans, Liz Cheney, John Kacko, and most recently, Adam Kinzinger. They've all announced that they will vote in favor of impeachment, which is surprising news. This is all breaking right now. Have you heard from any other Republicans in the House who are thinking about voting for impeachment? I haven't, but I know that there are some other Republicans that know that this was wrong, that know that what the president did was incite that insurrection and that he had hoped that there would be so much chaos uh, and disruption that it would have delayed our counting, our accepting the electoral vote and therefore give him an opportunity to stay there longer. I know there are more, There, are, I've got to pray that there are more members uh, on the other side of the aisle that believe that and will support that and will come out. But at the end of the day, we need the Senate also. So Mitch McConnell's rhetoric about believing that the president's actions may be impeachable means not a hill of beans to me, unless you bring back the Senate and do your job. Well, I hope Mitch McConnell hears your message. Congresswoman uh, Bonnie Watson Coleman of the great state of New Jersey, my home state, that's where I grew up. Thank you so much for being here tonight. And please, please, please get well soon. We are all uh, crossing our fingers and hoping that you are on the mend ASAP. Hi, I'm Zerlina Maxwell. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more from Zerlina by clicking any of the videos on this screen and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thanks for watching.